my little sister, Andrea here, who is actually the first guest guitar goddess on my channel. I've never had another guitar goddess on my channel before, so this is amazing. I'm so excited. So, actually, they might have met you during the live stream, the 500k oh, live yeah. stream. Yeah, that was awesome. And in our covers. And in our covers, that's true, but never in a tutorial. I've never had another guitar goddess teach a song with me before, so you're the very first. I feel very special. You are very special. Oh, this is, this is, oh I'm gonna cry. Also, I really like your eyeshadow. Oh, thank you. It's, it's um, very glittery. It's a uh, physician's formula. Oh. Yeah. It's I don't like, know if they want makeup, but it looks very nice and sparkly. Thank you so much. Anyways, so what song are we teaching uh, the GGs today? We're teaching you guys Untouchable. By but Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. Yes. Um, this is from the Fearless Platinum Edition, and it's actually a cover of hers by Luna Halo. So if you listen to Luna Halo's version, it's a lot different, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a rock version. Yeah. It's interesting. We, we both have varying opinions. <laughs> One of us likes it. One of us may, maybe doesn't so much, but that's okay. It's okay. So the song is actually really straightforward, super easy. All you need is capo here on the third fret, so we both got our capos here, and we just have four chords, which we're gonna jump into a close-up and show you guys they're all open, which makes it perfect if you're a beginner. So before we get into our strumming and picking, we're gonna go ahead and hop into those close-ups. All right, starting off, we have an E minor. <laughs> Our second chord is a G major. We have a D major. And an A major. So depending on what version of this song that you're listening to, um, on the album, the song is really more produced, but there's actually a video of Taylor playing it on just the acoustic guitar alone, and so this is what I'm basing it off of. So it sounds like this. Just like that. So I'm gonna be showing you how to pick each chord, and then Andrea actually, she has a way that she strums it, she picks two but there's a way that she's actually going to show you an example of how to do some strumming. And there is actually some strumming that does pop up later that Taylor does. First, we're gonna go ahead and start off with this picking. It's really simple. So all you have to do is make your E minor and you just pick both E strings. So both the bassier one and the higher one. So, and when you pick it, you're gonna bounce back and you're gonna mute. So you're gonna go pick, mute, pick. Gosh, I have to do things? Yes. <laughs> I'm not just gonna stand here and watch you? Okay, no. Nice. Now G major, same thing. Yep. Now for the D major chord, because the root note of a D major is the D note, you're gonna actually just, all you do is switch your thumb from the E string to the D string and you go. Now, there's a little kind of lick that happens after that on the D major, and uh, it sounds like this. And what I'm doing is after I go, I take my ring finger, third fret, E string, walk it down to the second fret, relative to the capo, obviously. So we have, and then what? Now what is the term for this that Sean called as a pull off? off. Pull off. I'm gonna make sure I get that term right. Pull off. So you pull off on that second fret, the high E string, so you go. So you don't actually like pick this string a second time. So you go. So you're just pulling off on that note. Let's hear you do it. Which part? The. Nice. And then A major, so you put your thumb here on the A string, and you actually move your index finger to the uh, B string, so you're doing the two inside strings, so just like that. Very nice. So all together, you want to join me? Yeah. Oh gosh, I'm going to mess this up. That's okay. Hey, that's okay. 
She actually just learned this song. I actually kind of taught it to her before the lesson. So yeah, so yeah, we did a cover too. Oh yeah, yes we did. So let's do the picking. Oops, I already messed it up. That's okay. Welcome. Now, for the second time, um, the lick only happens during that first time around during the intro. So every other time that you go back and you pick, it's just. Just like that. And that's pretty much the entire song. When you get to, I guess it would be like the, the bridge is the part kind of where the strumming happens. I like to use a down, down, up, up, down, up pattern. So when you go. Just like that. So down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. Just like that. Andrea is going to actually show you an example of a way to strum the song. Nice. And another way that I saw you actually playing this earlier is she was actually hitting on the root note of the chord first and then strumming the entire chord. And I thought that was a really cool option that she does too. Yeah, so. Sean taught me that. Yeah, Sean is just full of amazing guitar Tips. knowledge and wisdom. You can go tips. subscribe to him. His yes. name is Sean Daniel, but not Sean like Sean Mendez. Sean yeah. like S-E-A-N. Exactly. As in scene. I think it's like the scene. Yeah. <laughs> Cian. I know. It's funny how that works phonetically. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Who cares? It's still the right Sean. It is the right Sean. I've always felt like that too. Yeah. Yeah. It would be a DJ video without mentioning Sean. Oh, we are so low on battery. We gotta keep going. <laughs> ah! Enough of the goth it's gossip. Yeah, we gotta stop talking about Sean. Yeah, God. <laughs> All right, let's see this root note strum thing. Oh, I probably forgot it. Like the. Wait. Oh, there's like a. I'm reaching out and I just can't tell you why I'm caught up in you I'm caught up in you The camera just died This is a third battery today um, Gosh This is my third video today It's like a battery for like each video Well actually no, I think some of them were just kind of like half They were used I think so I, don't, I don't know How much have you been filming? Gosh, GG Right? It's just been today's just kind of been a, a struggle, but I I'm get I'm getting the content done like That's you good. like you said I mean no, I'm like so you proud said of you. She's like she's basically become my, my manager my channel manager I'm my Sean's manager, manager I'm your manager who's next I don't know <laughs> anyway so we were uh, we were here. So Andrea was just picking for like the E minor, for example, she's picking the slow E right here, so, and then mute, and then strum, so, same thing with the G major, D major, A major, just like that. And then something you also pointed out was kind of like a realization that you had earlier, it was like, oh, you don't actually need to build the entire chord for when you're doing this. Yeah. And that's something that sometimes I'll forget to mention in my tutorials is that sometimes when you do picking is that you don't actually have to build the entire chord. So this E minor here, it'll just watch, it'll sound the same if I take it, the chord off. So we have E minor. It's exactly the same. Yeah. Which is cool. So you don't even, you could just chill here and then be G major. For G major, you don't even need the whole chord. You can just do just these two, just like that if you want to. Yeah, So I just think maybe it's easier for people to think in chords when they're finger picking at first. Exactly, it's, it's kind of like a guide to follow, but as you get better and, and improve your skills, you're like, oh, I don't actually need this here. Yeah. So you can even make like 
smaller shapes or just partial shapes, but I don't know, sometimes I think it's even just easy to like stick to this because if you, especially if you change up what you're playing to, if you like go into like strumming or something like that, yeah. we need the whole chord. But yeah, I thought that was like a good thing that you pointed out earlier, like was like, oh, I don't need to build this, so, um, which is really cool. But I think that's pretty much everything that they need to know, that people need to know. Oh, well, that was a really short video. Untouchable. That was easy. We're not done yet. We were not. We gotta, we gotta walk them through the song. Oh. So how a guitar goddess video goes is we, we take them through a playthrough. Hopefully I don't forget it. I'm like so low key on tutorial videos. Like with the cover, if I mess up the lyrics, I mess up the lyrics. Yeah, I'm gonna mess up the lyrics. So that's fine. I mess up the lyrics all the time. In my so then what do we do? Do we just go like? Eh, ha, 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 ha. Sometimes I'll, I'll hum it or I just. Stop. Oh yeah, I have yeah. seen you do that. We're gonna walk you through a playthrough. So we're gonna play through the song. Feel free to jam along with us and yeah, ready to start? Yeah. All right, yeah. here we go. the song wrong or incorrectly 
Um, but technically, I kind of did. It's my fault. Don't blame Andrea. It's it's totally on me. But the way that I taught you guys how to play it, it's not totally incorrect. So let me explain myself here. I have not played along with the actual track in literally like years. I don't know if I even ever have before. Um, but the way that I sing it, the way that Andrea sings it, we kind of sing some of the notes lower so that the chords that we work, the progression that we used actually works. Just recently, the only reason why I put this edit in this video is because I was actually, when I was editing this video, I was just like, oh, I just want to play along to the original track. So just for fun. And I'm like, this something, there are some places where this is not right. <laughs> So I started um, just playing around with it and I'm like, okay, the pre-chorus and the chorus, I kind of messed up a little bit. The rest of the song is totally fine and if you want to play it the way that Andrea and I played it originally like that, that's totally okay to do it. But if you're singing exactly like how Taylor sings it on the original track on the Fearless Platinum Edition album, because mind you, I picked this up from her stripped down acoustic performance. Uh, which is a little bit more raw. So the pre-chorus is actually, instead of E minor, G major, D major, A major, it's just G and A. So it's untouchable, so it's a little higher, un, instead of untouchable, so instead of un, it's un. You hear the difference? Un, un. So if you want to play it exactly the way that Taylor plays it, you're going to start off on G major. Untouchable, burning brighter than the sun. A major. When you close, I feel like coming undone. And then you go to the chorus, which you have another progression. Now the progression flips to D major, to A major, to E minor, to G major, and then it'll end um, at the end of the chorus. It'll end on A major, and then go back into the regular progression. So we have in the middle of the night when I'm in this dream, it's like a changes when you go to the pre-chorus, G and A, chorus, D, A, E minor, G, and then ends on A. So one more time, we'll connect the pre-chorus and the chorus together. So we have untouchable, burning brighter than the sun, and when you close I feel like coming up and done in the middle of the night when I'm in this dream, it's like a million little stars. That is the correct way to play it, untouchable fully as a whole. So chorus, Andre and I were down here in the mid. Taylor is in the mid. So it's higher up. Um, for some reason, we just defaulted in singing that lower pitch, that lower, slightly lower range there. And um, that's why our chords were that way. Um, or the way, that's the way I played it. I taught her how to play the song. I taught her how to play it that way. Um, so really, either way is actually correct, but the way that Taylor plays it is the way that I just edited this video. Um, but like I said, either way is completely fine. It's just a different way of interpreting the song, and that is something that artists do all the time when they cover other people's songs. You don't have to play it exactly the same way as the original artist did. That's what's so cool about music, is you can literally just break songs apart and put them together your own way. Actually, that's a kind of a really cool example of that, to be honest. So um, you can just see the way that you sing, like if you want to sing it, like if your voice just complements the song better with those lower notes, 
then maybe that version that we taught incorrectly will work better for you. But if you want to do it exactly like Taylor Swift and your voice just works well with that, then do it the, the correct way. So um, I just wanted to throw this in there because um, I wanted to make sure I did this song justice. I was just like, let's do this real quick. My phone has pretty decent quality. I got my mic set up and let me know if you guys like this quality because like I said, it's on my phone and it was just really easy for me to set up and not get my lights all out and everything and make a big like deal out of it. So I actually kind of like this. It's just like really chill. So let me know if you like that. But um, yeah, so that is how you play Untouchable by Taylor Swift. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Like I said, definitely go check out Andrea's channel because she's an amazing singer. And she's pretty much like my little sister, so you should definitely go check her out. Send her some love. More T-Swift Tuesdays are on the way. A lot of you guys have been asking where the Taylor Swift Tuesday series is gone. It's just been crazy. If you've been keeping up with my vlogs and stuff like that and Instagram and all of that, it's just been a crazy, like, month and a half. Um, but I have tons of other content on the way. And I'm, I'm working on getting the series back up and, and going again, but I appreciate your guys' patience, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Sorry,